Hey guys, I wanted to give you a little update on how my 21 day fix is going so far. Um, today would be day three and um, you know the one thing I can definitely say is going to be your biggest friend is preparation. Making sure that you're prepared going into the 21 day fix and not waiting until the 21 day fix starts to really start planning out your meals and planning out how your kitchen is set up and what food you have in there. And, um, that is going to be a world of difference if you really hit it head on like that. Um, I know for me, once, I mean, uh, that was going to be my biggest learning curve. The next time I do the 21 day fix and going forward into the next um, 19 days or 18 days left, I know that um, my situation is a little unique. Megan and I are in New York right now because Megan's my girlfriend, if you don't know. Um, she just got a job out here and maybe a month to three months I'm also moving out here but um, you know coming out here and traveling and she doesn't have any food in the kitchen or anything like that that's put a huge uh, pressure on doing the 21 day fix making sure that I'm eating the right amount of food groups and stuff like that so I brought the brought the containers with me and everything like that but I mean we went out to Olive Garden one night and I or for lunch rather one day when she was getting her tires changed um, I just drank water uh, I wanted an Italian margarita I said no to that <laughs> I uh, had one little tiny bite of a uh, breadstick which I probably should not have even done that um, and then I got whole wheat linguine with the primavera sauce which is full of vegetables and stuff like that broccoli red peppers zucchini and grilled chicken on top. So that counted as a protein. It counted as uh, a fruit because of the tomato sauce. It counted as a carb because obviously the pasta. And it also counted as a green because I crushed all the vegetables. I made sure that that was something I focused on while I was eating it. Um, and then the salad, we got the dressing on the side. I made sure to just do the tablespoon or the little orange containers in my head sort of amount of the dressing. Um, but I had two big things of the salad with all the different onions and stuff like that on that. Um, just to make sure I can get one or two more green containers in that way um, to sort of offset the amount of carbs that I knew I was going to be doing, you know. And then just driving on the road, we stopped at a Wawa. I got, I got apples. I got uh, a little container of watermelon, I got a big bag of baby carrots, just because I was like, we're not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to plan things out, so let me grab all these different food items that I know I'm going to be able to hit. Um, so that would be my biggest word of advice, that's what I'm going to definitely focus on going forward. I got one more day in New York, and I know today it's already 10 a.m., and I haven't even had breakfast yet, so I mean, <laughs> it is an uphill battle if you are not prepared. Um, you know, the saying is, uh, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. That could not be true when it comes to doing any kind of portion controlling or even eating healthy in general. How hard is it to eat healthy when you're not prepared? You know, um, think about the times that you eat that junk food and eat the fast food and eat anything unhealthy. I guarantee if you look back to those times, it's because you were short for time, you know, you, you didn't have the energy or something like that to get, you know, what you should be eating. Um, I know for me that's true. I get home at 9 o'clock at night. It's so easy to order a pizza. It's so easy to, you know, pick up, uh, you know, Wendy's on the way home or something. So kicking those habits and just making sure you're putting in a little bit of extra work, um, you know, in the beginning of your week or the beginning of your day, just to make sure that the rest of your day is lined up just for success. Um, you know, the, my, my coach, um, Willie Spencer, he always says, uh, he keeps reminding me every day, success is intentional. Success doesn't just happen, right? You're, you're like, sure, there are people out there that win the lottery. Fantastic. Wish I could be one of those guys. Um, but I know that if I actually put in the work and I don't just hope that it'll happen, then, you know, good things will come. So that's my little word of advice today, guys. Um. All right, see you guys around.